Hi everyone, this is Dr. Dev. I'm a chief medical oncologist uh, working at Medicover Cancer Institute, Visakhapatnam, Arilova. So today we are going to talk about uh, lung cancer. You know, lung cancer is the most common or the leading cause of mortality in the world. Uh, nearly 20 lakh people die of lung cancer every year all over the world. So it is very, very lethal cancer. And today we are going to talk about various facts or various aspects of lung cancer. So let us first talk about uh, what is the cause of lung cancer? Why do people get lung cancer? So the most important reason or the most important risk factor for lung cancer is smoking. Be it BD smoking, cigarette smoking or hookah smoking, anything. And even non-smokable uh, tobacco forms like kutka, Kine, even these can cause lung cancers. This is the leading cause of lung cancer. Apart from smoking, we do have other risk factors, especially those people working in heavy industries like asbestos industry, exposure to radon gas, or exposure to heavy smoke areas. And uh, these people are at high risk of lung cancers, development of lung cancers. Apart from that, even nowadays, the studies have shown that Air pollution can also cause lung cancer, especially big cities like Delhi, Mumbai, where the AQI levels are very high, very poor and uh, constant there is exposure to pollution. And these people are also at increased risk of development of lung cancer. And apart from this, we have other factors like exposure to radiation therapy. And if somebody has chronic lung disorders like COPD or scar, etc. And etc. And of course, these factors contribute to a uh, little, but major is smoking. Now, somebody comes and asks, how do I identify, how, how do I suspect whether I have a lung cancer or not? So, you should keep in mind the following symptoms. If somebody has cough, that is not a cough for one week or two. Somebody has cough, which is beyond two weeks. Somebody has cough, which is not been controlled by usual drugs or antibiotics, then we need to suspect. If somebody has expectoration and which is especially blood tinged expectoration, then this is suspect something is wrong and this should get evaluated. So these are the most common symptoms that is cough and then uh, expectoration which is blood tinged. Apart from that, if the lung cancer is in advanced stage, they can have chest pain, they can have a difficulty in breathing, they can have a uh, neck swellings, that is lymph node swellings, they can have a bony pains and if they have a brain metastasis, they can have a seizures, fits and etc and etc. So these are the common symptoms of lung cancer. Suppose if somebody has these symptoms, if they visit a nearby hospital that is oncology center or general physician, the first thing they do is they do an imaging CT scan and in that we'll be able to suspect whether the patient has lung cancer or not. If somebody has a suspicion of lung cancer, the, the main test which need to be done is biopsy. We do a lung biopsy either Trans, trans thoracic lung biopsy or rebus guided lung biopsy is done then we confirm whether the patient has lung cancer or not and then for staging purpose we do PET CT by which we will be knowing whether the patient has stage 1 lung cancer or stage 4 lung cancer so we got a biopsy we confirm the lung cancer then we got PET CT we got the stage then what next so if you had asked me this question 20 years back or 10 years back this is the final but now if you ask me now we do beyond this something called the molecular profiling of the lung cancer which is very 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 important in modern day treatment of lung cancer so all the patients be it early stage or advanced stage that is stage one or stage four every patient molecular profiling of lung cancer has to be done by which we'll be determining whether the patient is eligible for immunotherapy or not whether the patient is eligible for targeted therapy or not so because these treatments has become or changed the treatment how we treat lung cancer these days. Suppose now we identified somebody has lung cancer and we determined the stage, how do we proceed? What are the treatment options we have? So the treatment options, as we all know, we have surgery in early stages, we have radiotherapy, we have chemotherapy. All of I think all of us are aware of these three options. Now we have the newer options like targeted therapy and immunotherapy because these two drugs have completely changed the treatment of lung cancer. So what do you mean by targeted therapy? I think I have spoken, I've spoken about targeted therapy multiple times. 
So targeted therapy is that when we do a molecular profiling of the lung cancer, uh, we will be able to identify mutations in the lung cancer. If you target that mutation by giving a drug, then we have better results. That is targeted therapy. And then immunotherapy is that uh, it will enhance your immune system and go and kill the cancer cells. So we have, apart from the routine therapy, we have newer therapies. And uh, stage one and two, nowadays we are even starting immunotherapies in the early stages as well. Earlier we used to give a targeted therapy and immunotherapy only in the advanced stage. But now targeted therapy and immunotherapy we are giving even in the early stage lung cancer. So all of us should get molecular profiling and all of us should be checked whether they are eligible for targeted therapy and immunotherapy. So if you want to know more about lung cancers or if you want to more, know more about the treatment options, please visit Medicare Cancer Hospital and so that we can discuss in detail. Thank you.